He's got into position as Glenn Bates rocked back and forth, awaiting his fate. A jury found Bates guilty of murder after hearing testimony about dozens of wounds on the body of his two-year-old daughter, Glenera. She had been starved and weighed only 13 pounds when she died. The defense asked for life without parole for the sake of his other children, making note of the testimony from one of the mothers. It appears that she said shed were not for herself uh, and not for Mr. Bates, um, but indeed uh, they were shed for their 12-year-old son that they had together. The prosecution agreed with the jury. The fact that it took them, I think, less than an hour to come up with their decision shows just how clear this decision is. We would simply ask you to follow the jury's recommendation. Judge Megan Shanahan followed the jury's recommendation and sentenced Bates to death. Obviously, we're disappointed. We thought we had enough to save Glenn's life, but we didn't. The jury made the decision. The judge had to follow the recommendation. So now it will be appealed, and now it's up to the appellate process and post-conviction. The sentence comes after Bates was originally offered a plea deal. We had told our client it probably would have been 23 to life, which obviously in retrospect would have been better than getting the death penalty. Bates chose to appeal the judge's decision today. As for Andrea Bradley, Glenera Bates' mother, she's set to be in court tomorrow morning. Reporting downtown, Alexis Rogers, WLWT News 5.